In this video, you'll find out everything you need to know to get your Totally Wicked Arc 5 e-cigarette set up and ready to use. First, remove the package into the box and you'll find one Arc 5 battery, one CS Air Slim Tank, a USB charging cable, two CS 1.5 ohm atomizer heads and a user manual. So the first thing you'll want to do is to prime your atomizer head. To do this, take one atomizer out of the packaging and drop a few drops of e-liquid onto the cotton material. Then, screw it into the base of the tank. Leave the base of the tank detached for now, because next you'll need to fill the tank with e-liquid. To do this, turn your tank upside down and squeeze some e-liquid into either of the filling holes at each side, but don't put e-liquid into the middle hole. Now screw the base back onto the tank, and then screw your tank back onto the battery. But be careful not to over tighten the tank onto the battery, as it can make it very hard to remove the tank base from the battery without resorting to pliers. So then leave the kit for 5 minutes to give the e-liquid time to soak the atomizer head. This will remove the risk of it burning out prematurely. So you're now almost ready to go, there's just a couple of settings to check before you start vaping. First of all, turn your e-cig on with 5 quick clicks of the power button, your screen on the front of the battery will turn on to show your battery level, voltage level, atomizer head resistance and your wattage level. So you now need to set your power output. The ARC5 has variable wattage from 1 to 40 watts, so you can tailor the power to your personal needs. To do this, use the up and down buttons just beneath the screen. Your ideal wattage will depend on your own personal preferences, as well as the resistance of the atomizer head which is fitted. But 12 to 15 watts is a good starting point with the standard ARC5 atomizer heads. Now if you try any different ones, you can find a suitable wattage range etched onto the side of each atomizer. So now you need to choose your airflow setting. Rotate the airflow ring at the base of the tank to expose some holes or even a slot. The more holes or slot that's exposed, the looser the airflow. Now just like your power level, your preferred airflow setting is subjective, but a tighter airflow is usually more suited for lower powers and a wider airflow for higher power. So you're now ready to go. So simply hold down the power button and inhale on the mouthpiece to activate the ARC5. It will already be partly charged and ready to use out of the box, but when you do need to recharge, do so using the cable provided. You should always use either a specific e-cigarette wall plug, or plug the cable directly into a USB port on either a laptop or a computer. From time to time, your atomizer head will need changing. Now you'll know when it's time to change it, because you'll experience a slight burnt taste, loss of flavour production, or a loss of vapour production. To change your atomizer, unscrew the base of the tank, unscrew your current atomizer and dispose of it. Then simply repeat the steps from when you initially primed and fitted your atomizer head. Remember to prime your atomizer head and leave it to soak in the tank for 5 minutes every time you change it. So that's all you need to know to get your ARC5 up and running, but if you have any further questions then visit your local store, contact our customer service team or leave a comment below.